Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. This is episode 259, Easy Ways to Freshen Decor. And the show notes for today's episode can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 259. And don't we all love an easy, quick way to refresh our homes? Today, we're talking about easy things that you can do. And we don't we all love something easy? And one of my very favorite things to do that's super easy, that makes a big difference in my room, is to go out in my yard and cut some branches or cut some flowers from my yard and bring them in. And it's totally free. I know both of you do that too. All the time. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I definitely do that. And you're going to even crack up. I mean, I can't stop talking about my trip that I just took with my hiking group, but we actually did that in our in our little campsite. We, <laughs> I mean, the outdoors were all around us, but... We uh, we were staying in not very luxurious accommodations the first night up uh, sort of at right outside the um, the park before we started the hike into Rain- up Rainier. And um, so we, there's a bunch of us. So one, some girls were in one room and other girls were in the other one for sort of four and three. And so the, the four invited the three over for a party in their room and they had gone outside and like snapped some branches and put them in a cup. <laughs> There's always a show off. Every oh, group has I, it a wasn't show me. Off. I didn't even do it. I was just <laughs> no. I'm, 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 I'm the surprised it wasn't you. It. A it sign of a true decorator. Yes, yes. And what a difference it made to sit around and just really freshened the entire sad little room we were in. <laughs> and even if you live someplace that's not in the city and you're not going to pick your neighbor's flowers or or bushes, <laughs> you can go along the roadside. I often stop and pick the Queen's Anne. Queen Anne's lace and a few other things, or cat and nine tails, or there's always something fun to pick along the roadsides. And and you know, I'm not opposed to cutting um, branches off of dead branches off of trees and things. And they cut. You come back and you make a really pretty bouquet or architectural looking element. And what a difference that makes in your house. Oh, and right now does. we've got lots of corn. Now I know if the farmers oh, didn't cool. plant it and need it, I would be. I would be picking big stalks of corn to come in and to decorate with that too. But we don't touch that because that is used by the farmers. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. I would suggest maybe if you feel like your window treatments are a little tired, just take them off. It's super easy. Oh, yes. Take them off. You can always put them back. And if they seem a little tired and a little dusty, you can wash them or you have them dry cleaned, whatever seems appropriate for that fabric. But just take them off and then treat yourself to a professional Mm -hmm. window wash. It's really usually not that expensive. And you could even just have them do the outsides and you could do the insides. But wow, what a difference. And talk about fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm honestly, you're talking me into it. Right? Nothing feels well, better window, than I really don't clean have, windows. Yeah, I mean, the, getting the windows cleaned. I don't really have any old drapes, but great idea on the windows well, too. You, no, Kelly, that's a really good idea. I just had a um, a design consult with one of, one of my clients and she has to have, she can't afford to get new blinds and she has to have some kind of blinds on her windows because her neighbors are close and she has Mm -hmm. mini blinds. And she said, Yvonne, what will I do? And I said to her, why don't you just have, and she has a brother who's a carpenter. I said, have him make a wood cornice and then paint it the same color as your wall. And that's not that hard to do. So if you have to have, you know, we call them the dreaded mini blinds, but some people need them, you know, and, and, but you don't want to see them all the time, like during the day, what an easy fix that would be just to take a couple pieces of board, paint it the same color of your wall, slap it up like a cornice on your window and your mini blinds disappear when you don't want to see them. Right. So you're saying when you pull them all the way up, they just go right into that wood corner. Right into that. And and you don't want a big one. You just want a small one in the same color of your wall to make it recede. So you don't want to call attention to it. What a fresh look that would be too. Mm -hmm. You know, another thing you can do, this one's a little more work, but I love this idea of giving the room kind of a 
a fun touch, and that is to change the color of your interior doors mm-hmm. so that yes. if they, you know, because most houses, they're white. Most houses, they match the trim around the doorway. So wouldn't that be fun? Maybe all your doors or maybe just one or two to paint them a fun color. Mm. That is fun. Yeah. That I've wanted loud. to do that, but I've not gotten, I wanted to do that with our front door because it's our foyer. Mm-hmm. And I thought that would be fun, but I'm not that brave. And I'm pretty brave, but I, I just, well, I just you can can't always find the right over. color. Oh, I yeah. know. And mm-hmm. we say that all the time, don't mm-hmm. we? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, yeah, I need to repaint my front door at the farm. It's so weather worn. Mm. Yeah. And I that to me to is a really quick uh, decor, a piece of decor you can freshen up real easy. And we're still going to do it. Our weather has been so hot and humid. We don't even want to open the door yet. And a new, unseasonably warm here in the um, in the foot of the um, Piedmont here. But I want to do it like a patent leather black. Uh, Kelly, I know yours is that. I just love that idea. Right. But that's a quick freshen up. It doesn't take very long to do that. Or just get paint and paint something. And... Um, I, I have, um, I'm a maker from a maker's studio and we have these beautiful paints that, I mean, they stick to anything you put on them and just pick a chair, um, a small table, a picture frame. I, um, the frame of a clock. There's so many things you can change out just to make it look fresh. Mm-hmm. And I took down my black shutters from either side of my mantle. They've been there you for did. years. They, you were saying you were talking about doing that. I did. Well, I took them down and I painted them and they're very rustic and chippy. And I just painted right over it with something called biscuits and gravy. And we mm-hmm. can put that in the show notes and it's a wonderful color. And, um, but when I paint, when I, I have them done, ready to hang back up, but I sort of like it without my shutters. Oh. And I thought I'd never get rid of those. On I have a right. big clock and then um, these really, these antique shutters that we retrofitted to um, for the size of between the mantle and the ceiling to fit in that space. And really, I think, wow, I'm just going to fill in the holes, paint over it. And I think we're going to call that a day for a while. Well, sometimes it's just time to change things out. Mm-hmm. But how and, easy! I just took something mm-hmm. down. Yeah, I well, I mean, we we do stuff like that all all the time. Um, and another thing that you can do that's pretty fast and easy is add a table runner or a tablecloth to your table, especially something kind of bright and cheery, something fresh for the season. I think that's something will give it a completely different look. Okay, we can't we can't not talk about the p word pillows. Yes. You know how we love pillows. So a really easy way to freshen up your decor is to change out your pillows. You can make them, you can buy them, you can go to your pillow stash and um, reintroduce your room to an old pillow friend and just, just do something new, especially the change of a season. That's a great time to have some fresh pillows to put in a room. We're all We're on a bed. Fresh. All yes. about it. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And then how about just rearrange your furniture? I love doing that when you can. I have sort of limited rearranging abilities in my living room because of how long and strange it is. But in my other rooms, like when I decided to bring that chair into the kitchen, it completely changed the way we used the kitchen. And how many people were in there while I was in there. It just made such a difference. Taking just decorative stuff down and a bistro chair that was certainly not, while being adorable, not particularly inviting to sit on, right? And putting in a cozy chair, that cozy gray tufted chair that I got uh, from Target. Oh my gosh. Every day. My kids are sitting on there. The dogs jump up on there. It's, it's telling me about their day at school from there. My husband will have a glass of wine you know, while we're cooking together sitting there. It's been fantastic. So some, sometimes when you just shake it up, even if it's just one or two pieces that you move around, it really changes the mm-hmm. way that you use the space and it may really improve the way you're using the space. And it's totally reversible. Like in five minutes, you know, it's back. <laughs> It's not a big deal. Kelly, so give it a whirl. I'm going to piggyback on that. We took everything out of my son's. It's a guest bedroom, 
But when my son and his wife come, they sleep, they sleep in that room because it's still his room. We took everything out of there. Um, we put in a new headboard and the, you know, we just got a tufted headboard, very inexpensive. Um, we took off the dust ruffle. I kept up the curtains. I took out everything else and pared it down and I got a new small dresser. I had been looking for one like on Craigslist and I couldn't find the dimensions that I wanted. So I didn't get a really costly one, but it's real pretty. And, and I brought up a mirror from the basement. I brought up another bench from the basement and we just streamlined that room and it just totally changed the look of it. And you're right. Just try something new. Um, we took out a chair. Now we just, you know, we've got that down in the basement. Now we took out a big chest of drawers. I donated that to a friend whose um, daughter was in college. So, you know, there's so many nice things you can do. And sometimes I'm finding that the longer a room sits, the more furniture it collects or the more layers it collects. So really have a, a second eye at those rooms that you haven't changed for, you know, five, six, 10 years, and maybe just do a, take things out and then put things back in, in a new and fresh way. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Yeah, I so agree with you. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's just a matter of moving things around or moving something out. A lot of times it doesn't require a purchase. And it's amazing right. how different my house looks simply by moving things from one room to another. At, or, you know, we've also talked about painting something. You can paint something that you don't like the color of, paint it white or try black or gold. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those three colors work with about any color scheme. Another thing you can do 
is to add a new color accent to a room. You can add it in pillows, you can add it in a throw, you can add it in some artwork or an accessory. There's a lot of ways to add that accent color to your room. Anita, you are so right. I added blue to my family room and I love it. And every time I go in there, I think, wow, I really like how this looks. And it's it's so pleasing, at least to my eye, because that room was totally neutral and bringing just that little bit of a, of a um, it's not quite a cobalt and it's not a navy. It's um, sort of in between there made such a huge difference in the way my room looked. Yeah. And I think if you have a neutral room, it's nice to have some color in there. Mm -hmm. I think it can look flat if there's no color, but it's nice to add some touches of color and it can still be basically a neutral room. Mm -hmm. And here's another thing. Freshen up using texture. I think texture is the secret weapon of decorating. And we're talking about neutrals, especially if you have a neutral room. If you think it looks a little tired, Buy something that's extra nubby or something that's pretty and shiny, like a new pair of candlesticks or, you know, a big nubby throw or an ottoman or a poof that has some texture to it or lay um, a sisal rug underneath um, another and, and put an interesting rug on top of it. Things like that. When you bring texture into a room, it brings such a fabulous dimension. Your eyes pick that up as, oh, this is so interesting. And so look at, look at those rooms and say, could I add a little texture to this room? I don't think you can have enough texture when we talk about decorating. Speaking of that, how about adding a runner to your table? Bam. I mean, how long could that possibly take? Even from purchasing it to getting it, if you buy it online or something, I mean, just no time at all. Mm -hmm. But if you have one and you just haven't used it in a while, or even if you just have some fabric and you want to whip one up yourself or have a look at the ones we have on Bespoke, or they're pretty awesome and they're reversible. So that's kind of cool because you can you know, obviously have them go both ways. But a runner adds such nice texture, particularly if you have a long table. Uh, because think about it, in your dining room, there's a lot of hard surfaces. If it's not fully carpeted, you've got the floor is a hard surface, the tabletop, obviously, the chairs are wood. Usually you've got some sort of other wooden furniture, whether it's a buffet or a china cabinet. You need to break that up with some fabric and some texture. So I love a runner. It's also a fresher look, a um, more up-to-date look than a tablecloth would be, which is mm -hmm. a little bit more traditional. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely get a little storehouse of runners going and you can change them out for the seasons. It's a nice way to really quickly update your dining room. And we've talked about using Turkish towels. We've talked about even you can use beautiful. Some some dish towels are absolutely beautiful. I love the linen ones from Williams Sonoma that have sort of a um, seasonal motif on them. If I have a round table and that looks so pretty. And then I put a vignette on top of that. I layer, but also... I love going to a high-end fabric store and looking at their remnants. And if you can find a yard of material, I don't even sew them. I usually fold them and iron them and put them on the table in case I want to make a pillow out of it at some point in time. And nobody is the wiser. So you oh, are so hard. right, Kelly. Yes. And you can get great buys on beautiful fabric. I especially love when you're thinking about linen in a dark, um, speaking about table runners in a dining room. And Kelly, you're so right. There are so many hard surfaces and you need to soften that up. And if that's all again, one sort of texture. So if you, I think of like linen, I'd love to put some kind of linen on my table. And it just brings that extra added dimension that's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, how about this? If you are, maybe it's changing over for the seasons or if you're just in the mood for a different color or if you're like we are, which is predominantly neutral, it's really mm -hmm. easy just to pick a new pop color. So it doesn't even have to be a gold or an orange or a brown for now. It could be any color that you love and add that into your decor. So think maybe I'll add it in in three places. I'll get some pillow covers. Maybe my runner will have that. And maybe I'll bring it in in a small vase that either I find in that color or I spray paint in that color. Mm -hmm. Just change out your pop color. I love doing that. And, it, and when I'm when I do it to my house, in only maybe 
I think I'd probably do it in about seven places throughout the downstairs of my house. It completely changes the look of my house. Kelly, what's your favorite pop color? I know well, it, but you can tell everybody. Well, in this house, for for mm-hmm. the last bit, it's really been either a golden yellow, like a sunflower yellow, and now it's mm-hmm. I'm kind of sliding into a more of that burnt yellow color. I just really like that with the black and the gray. I think it's a really sharp look, mm-hmm. and it worked for summer, and it you know definitely will work for fall. Um, so I have that color going now, but. Um, I love green too. I'm definitely more I know a you green love girl green. than a blue girl. Mm-hmm. And so that I can do that with just boxwoods and I have some other, but the green, the green pillows, I don't think they would pop as well on my sofa. There's something about that gold with the, you know, oh, the, charcoal, the charcoal sofa. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's pretty great. So I and think Kelly- that in variations will be my pop color for quite a month mm-hmm. of time because you can do, I can do golds with that. So you can kind of, splay out from the 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 sunflower yellow and go mm-hmm. deep go shinier so it's it it has a lot of variations i'm such a gold girl i love that saturated um like burnt yellow color that you're talking about like 24 karat i call it well i like like the more of the mustard uh-huh Mm-hmm. But very saturated, a little more sunflower than mustard. Depends on the mustard that you're so, using. Right. Um, Another thing you can do is that. change out your bedding so that you have two different sets of bedding. Mm. Maybe it's a summer spring bedding that's lighter colored and darker colors for the fall and winter. But I think that's a fun way to do. One of the things I like to do is keep my long drop bedspread on my bed. Mm-hmm. And then I'll change out the duvet where it's a different color. Or a different I pattern. love that idea. I love that idea, Anita. And two of my bedrooms, I do have um, winter bedding, like winter duvets. I and then um, I in one bedroom, I just have a total just Christmas a beautiful garnet red velvet duvet, which is so beautiful, and um, and shams that go with that. So I so agree with you. What a difference that makes in the look of a room. Oh, yeah. And you can even go a uh, step down from that and leave your duvet and then just have something else, whether a thinner quilt or a thinner duvet at the bottom mm-hmm. or throw even. So I generally have the white linen duvet cover that goes over the, the king bed. And I don't really change that. But I have a gray um, diamond quilted, very thin uh, quilt that I just fold at the bottom sometimes. And then when the winter comes, I change it out and I have a Mm -hmm. furry one when it's, you know, when it's quote unquote really wintry here. And then a different, a lighter Uh linen one (laughs) for the real summer heat. So Mm -hmm. even just changing that little bit and maybe one of your pillows or something like that, Mm -hmm. like your center pillow, that can really change up the room too. Here's another idea. And I think it's it, it seems very English to me where rooms were overcrowded and it's just kind of the pile on, pile on, pile on. But I like the look. And that is to hang artwork on top of a bookcase. Oh, I do like shows. that. I, Don't I, you love I, that? Mm-hmm. I love it. I do. Um, I, my, my little variation on that is I've, hang, I've hung artwork on top of my windows on the side Mm. because I don't want to have the curtains closed all the time. But these two paintings that I have really do block the center bottom window sash. So my neighbor, Mrs. Roxy, can't see right (laughs) in. (laughs) There you go. That might work for a bathroom. I think her hearing is going, but her eyesight is very good. Oh, Oh, there you go. So you think she's got her smartphone taking pictures, huh? Well, she did tell me at one point, she said, I love when you have your Christmas tree up because that's my bedroom right there and I can see. And she started describing my ornaments. And I was like, <laughs> and like oh, time for some window treatments. Dear like, lady, let her see your tree. I know. Like, just I know. squish the tree over a little more. Let her see that on the back <laughs> of it. That's right. Share it with her. But it her looks, in for I have to say, it looks pretty cool because it's somewhat unexpected, too. So I have these two mm-hmm. uh, water paint, uh, watercolor paintings that a friend of my mom's, an artist, had done. Linda Berger, fabulous watercolorist out in the Hamptons. She had done them for me years ago. And I had them there. So they're framed the same and then the same mat and they're the same size. And I just tied some twine on the back of them and I hung them from the window sashes. Just looped it around the, the window opener. 
But does that block like the sunlight coming into your window? No, because my windows are huge and really tall. So I have the, otherwise, if I didn't want someone to be able to look in, I would have to close either the natural wovens would come down or the draperies would close in. So this way, Mm -hmm. the, the entire top is open and then a large part of the bottom is open, but that real center spot mm-hmm. is blocked. So you're good if you're standing right in the center of it so they can't see anything. Yeah. 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 I got it. I got yeah. it. And okay. I mean, there's some trees and stuff between our houses, but it just does a little something. And I really like the look because that side of the room, it's it's kind of all window and there's no place to put anything. So it was kind of nice to be able to put them there. Yeah. That sounds really pretty, It wouldn't actually. work in a lot of situations, mm-hmm. but if you have a, a situation that I sort of like what I've got going on, give it a try. And even if it's a smaller work of art and you're not really going for the privacy thing, it's kind of a cool thing. Cause I don't, and, and particularly if you don't have any window treatments, it might do something kind of interesting to your room. BritBox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Archie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story, the dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting, but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter, Jennifer Grant, and ex-wife, Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing. And it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to DoseDaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt it's, um i like to do something really quick and easy in my entryway always um just to change it up because i like to see new things when i walk in and certainly for a nod to the various seasons and the holidays that come along and the entryway normally is a pretty small area so it's fairly easy to switch it up so i would suggest a uh, pretty floral or um, like we were talking earlier cutting something from your yard putting that there if it's pumpkin season, maybe just putting a little trio of pumpkins, something like that. If you have a chair or a bench, uh, you're lucky enough to have space for that. Change out, uh, add a throw, change something out that would be indicative of the season, something a little cozier in the fall. And again, bam, you're done. You know, add a pillow or throw and a little vase of twigs and you are good to go. Okay. We're going to stay. Can we stay in the foyer and at the front door? Sure. Easy way to freshen up your decor, put a new wreath on your door. If you have a wreath, 
you know, if you have room for a wreath, um, I love to change my wreaths out seasonally. Like I have one for early fall and late fall through Thanksgiving and then Christmas and then winter and spring and summer. And then I usually have something for um, the 4th of July. So that's a nice way to, before people even walk in your door, to welcome them and to give them a little taste of, wow, this, these people really care about their home and they keep their, you know, have it really festive. So that's a real nice way to freshen up your house. And that doesn't take a lot of effort at all. New doormat, things like that. Just little things. They really can just change change it up. Even I love to just get new dish towels. I don't know. Sometimes that just gives me a little thrill. <laughs> I'm all, about due for that. <laughs> yeah. All, you know, it's just sometimes just the day to get mm-hmm. little things like that. Add a candle. Do uh, some beautiful scent in your house. That can even just change things. Well, you know, speaking of scents, I am such a fan of a diffuser. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Goodness, get a diffuser, get some essential oils. They and be, and you can mix your own scents. Like you can, I'm doing something now called Autumn, and it's like cinnamon and nutmeg and orange and clove. And it, my house smells wonderful. And I know that they're all natural and that they're safe and they don't hurt anything. And actually, I use something called Thieves, which actually has some medicinal value. So, you know, and it smells wonderful because when you go into a house and you can, you can smell the season. I love that. Yeah. Mm. You know, something else that, um, I like to do is to kind of clean things out. So I just went through my China cabinet or it's not China cabinet. It's an armoire that I have filled with China Uh in my, uh, breakfast room. So I've, pulled a bunch of things out of there. So um, that it just looks so much fresher and cleaner and newer and just a lot less. Um, it just doesn't look as cluttered. So, Anita, I think that's like the number one tip. If we had tip of the day, I'd give it to you. But, um, <laughs> but, we, but we don't, but we don't. But I think if you, I have this, like if you spend 10 minutes a day, 10 to 30, depending on how much time you have, just straightening out, just like start in one room of the house and go all the way through it. And it's amazing for me. It's so freeing because as bloggers, you know, I mean, some bloggers, I tend to keep a lot, but when I can donate things or send them to another home, it's wonderful. It's a fabulous feeling. Great idea. Yeah. And touching on that, If you have a collection of things and you have it sort of scattered, it's not necessarily the right word, but you have it displayed in different areas in your house. So maybe you have three pieces over here and you have a four pieces someplace else and you have five in the dining room someplace. Maybe you could think of a place where you could put your entire collection of fill in the blank, whatever it is, you know, Ironstone or what have you, and put it all in one place. Not so it's cluttered and crowded. Uh, you know, not not if you have hundreds of pieces that maybe you should be doing what Yvonne is saying and, you know, sort of culling through it or putting a lot away and then only having certain pieces out. But collections – especially ones that you really enjoy, have a lot bigger impact when they're displayed together than if they're spread all over the house. So I would consider finding a place where if it's plates, maybe some sort of plate rack or a wall display, or if it's things that have to sit on something flat, maybe you have three or four shelves someplace where you're able to display these items together. Because if you see something like that sort of en masse, um, I think it just has a really strong visual impact and you might enjoy your collection more and it may just be that little touch of freshness that you need. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, if you have 25 Yadros, you don't want them en masse. I mean, but, but you don't want them like 25 spread out through your house. So get three that you like and put them somewhere that's really pretty in your house and enjoy those. And then just, we talk about this all the time, rotate them. So that's almost getting it new again. Be, you know, they can look, they can look so fresh to you and you can look at them with a new and appreciative eye if they're not all cluttered all together. If you have a huge collection or they're so spread out that they don't make a statement. So again, just a few, rotate them in and out, 
um, every how often you decide and you'll really enjoy them more. So we hope that you got a lot of great tips today. Thanks so much for listening. Remember, we are here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Thanks so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. If you're enjoying what you're hearing, then subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. 